Hey everyone. Well, today's video, uh, this is going to be a special video that something I've never done before in the past, but here it goes. First time for everything. Uh, so I was on Facebook um, replying to messages and chatting with several friends on Facebook, and one particular uh, Facebook friend, uh, Andrew uh, Schwartz, uh, gave me a post that he asked me to share with you guys since uh, he knows that I'm very popular I'm on YouTube and he wants me to spread the word so uh, that's exactly what I'll do. Okay so I will link uh, the link on the video description for those of you who want to read it but anyways here goes. My stepson Blake has been hospitalized since the 13th of November. The hospital in Bend, Oregon seriously neglected him. Leaving him to sit in his own mess, he caught conjectivitis so bad that both of his eyes were swollen shut. Along with leaving him alone during a grand mal seizure, letting him hurt himself, not giving him his meds, not bathing him, lying about the bath to bathe him in, and letting him aspirate so bad he got aspiration pneumonia. After all this, he came home, unable to walk, unable to eat, drink, or take meds without choking. A few days later, he was seizing continuously. Oh my god, That's so sad. After life flight uh, took him to the OHSU hospital, uh, they induced coma. Since then, it's been a constant struggle, living at the Ronald McDonald house for months. My wife lost her job. I've been selling my tarantulas here in Portland to pay for gas, food, and other necessities. Blake has undergone another brain surgery and is not doing well. After brain surgery, he spent 28 days in ICU because he wasn't breathing on his own. This week, they finally moved him out of the ICU, so shade... Or, yeah, and I could see him, but it didn't last long. He's been still having too much seizure activity, and during seizures, his heart slows or stops, which is a rare condition that only happens to 1% of the population suffering from seizures. Wow. This is, this is awful. So, this post really scratches the surface of the struggles uh, they've been having. And they've never been, they never asked one to help, but here it is, and anything will help. Uh, we are drained of resources, we have no gas, Zoe is eating human food, we can't do laundry. Blake needs sweatpants and t-shirts, I'm asking everyone in my friends list, even if it's only a couple of dollars, uh, see comments of how you can help. So, I'm just going to share uh, the message to everyone, if you're interested in helping him, you know, please do. Um, and that'll be it. So that's all I have for now. Uh, stay tuned for more rehousing videos with the new additions that I got from the expo. I've just been too busy with uh, grading uh, and grade papers and marking tests and making tests that I haven't been able to make it. And yeah, yeah, you'll see that as well as the new additions coming up. I bought myself a T Sturmy as well as a Scolopendra as of speed. So, anyways, this video was just meant for Andrew and hope you like it and. Stay tuned. Alright, thanks everyone for watching and listening.